She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her Welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing this like galaxy ex expired <laughs> inspired makeup look today. I've been wanting to do a galaxy makeup look for so long, but every time I do it, it comes out looking like I got bruises on my eyes, so I just delete the footage. But today I'm super excited. Like, can you tell that I'm super excited today? It just turned out I don't know I like it I tur it turned out way better than I expected and um, today's video is gonna be kind of a review video as well mood editing cosmetics sent me a bunch of really cool stuff so that's what I'm gonna be trying out today they're a makeup company that just launched I think this month or last month very very recent um, they asked me if I wanted to try their products and I was very very open to it I looked at their website it looked really fun and like very empowering kind of brand um all of the products i will try to link in the description box if you guys want to check it out um yeah i hope you guys like this video okay so starting off with primer i'm going to be using the fenty pro filter hydrating primer and so far i really 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 like this primer it is extremely hydrating and it doesn't leave like a weird sticky feeling on your face like honestly the milk makeup one does a little bit foundation I'm gonna be using the Fenty Pro Filter hydrating foundation do that and I'm using their new foundation brush this is the 115 foundation and I'll just buff that in So now I'm going to go in with a little bit of concealer. Okay, so to set the concealer today, I'm going to be using one from Mood Editing. And this is their Girl Pride Oil Control Setting Powder in the color number one. And it is called Cuz I Say So. And this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of like... Um, when I, when I went to Korea last year, they had like a pony effect makeup stand in one of the department stores and this kind of reminds me of the packaging. And then just patting that. But only where I put the concealer, just because I don't want to look too cakey. Okay, so thems are the eyebrows. I hate like this stage in makeup where I just have foundation and eyebrows on and I just look like I'm, I've been dead for like three years. So the eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be using today is from Mood Editing as well. And there are two palettes. One is called I Do This For Me and one is called Carl Narcissistic. I really like the, like the energy that this uh, makeup collection is giving off. It's very like I'm a do me, you know, like confidence, girl power. For eyes today, I think I'm gonna be doing a little um, like sorry moment um, because I, I opened this palette here. This is the narcissistic, and I saw this like gorgeous, like so gorgeous blue eyeshadow right here. I think this is a pressed glitter almost. I feel like that is gonna be the main focus, I think. And then I'm gonna be using purples. So like a purpley blue moment. I have these um, star and moon glitter things that I might stick on my face after. So yeah. So the first eyeshadow that I'm gonna be using is this one right here. This is the purple one in Narcissistic. And this is, I don't know how to say most of these eyeshadows. So I'm gonna put that right there, probably, right here. Um, some fallout when I dip my brush in. Not too bad though. So I'm gonna start off the purple just right at the corner. Ooh, very nice. For some reason I thought it was gonna be less pigmented. I like this, she cute. So we're just going to start in the outer corner. 
and then just kind of blend upwards. I'm using a very, very light hand and very little product, by the way. I'm not really going in on this that much because I've learned that it's easier to add eyeshadow little by little rather than just slapping it on my face. Um, that's just what's been happening the last few times I've been doing this makeup look. If you guys want to take a look, a closer look at the palette, it's a really hard cardboard-ish palette, but um, harder than like say ColourPop Cosmetics, so it's really tough. Holographic, I do this for me in the front, and it has all of the shades on the back here, and then you open it up, that's what it looks like. This is a mirror, I haven't taken off the, the protector yet, but that's what it looks like. So I kind of chickened out a little bit because I tried the purple on my arm and I don't think it's gonna mix well with the matte eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna use um, something from another palette that I already own. So next, I think I'm going to use a pink eyeshadow on the lower lash line. So I'm going to be using this one right here. Oh my god, I don't want to say any of these. Sorry, I'm dumb. I feel like Galaxy looks always have a mixture of pinks and purples and blues. So that's why I wanted to add the pink in there. Oh my gosh, my eye is getting red from my lens, sorry. I'm gonna take a really fluffy brush and this pink eyeshadow right there and then just go in my inner corner right here very, very, very softly. I'm gonna try not to do too much, but I kinda want a little pink in there too. So now I'm going to add the blue glitter. I don't know what it's going to look like, but I'm going to use my fingers because I feel like that's the best way to do it. So that's what it looks like on the finger. So cute. And then I'm just going to press that right. Oh. oh my god, it's so cute. Okay. Oh my god, that is so freaking pretty. I can't even talk because it's so pretty. Okay. I'm gonna go a little bit. Oh, actually, I'm using a brush. It, it works just fine with a brush. So I'm just gonna use a brush here. So far, this blue glitter eyeshadow has been like, it's just giving me the feels. Like, I just love it so much. Like, I'm going to be using this eyeshadow here for the inner corners. So this is like a pink shimmer eyeshadow. For eyeliner today, I think I'm going to do a blue eyeliner. This is from What and Wild Mega Liner. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to look, so let's just try it out. Damn, she's bold today. So now I'm gonna add mascara on top and bottom lashes. So I'm just gonna quickly contour my face. Just gonna go on the sides of my nose here, and then all the way down, and across the bottom, and across the top just a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in on my cheeks here. And then a little bit on my chin, just on the sides. Okay, so I just put a little bit of like a corally blush on top. So now I think I'm going to put on the like stars and stuff. Gold, stars and moons. And then I have silver stars and moons. But like these are like tiny glitters and these are more embellishments. So I'm going to try on and see which one would look better. My sleeves are 
silver. So I might do end up doing the silver, but let me just see what it looks like with gold. That actually looks kind of cute, like if I just did this. Okay, so I just had the idea of just sticking um, the star confetti, confetti glitter onto like the tip of my eyelashes. I'm gonna see what that looks like. Like a little bit of glue, grab a star. kind of cute so that's what the stars on the eyelashes look like I think they're super cute they're just like floating stars okay so I'm gonna put some stars just like on the bottom of my eyeball right here before I do the lips I'm gonna put on highlighter this one right here go on of my nose this is actually my favorite highlighter by the way and then tip of my nose just a little dot i feel like this look is missing some more glitter so this is just like iridescent glitter gel i like the way it looks so i'm just gonna put that in the inner corner there you go. I feel like that looks so much better. Like, um, they also sent me these mini me lip packs, lip sets, not packs, sets. Um, they come like this and then you just slide the actual packaging out. These are really cool because they have the shades of the lipsticks on the packaging, which I really like instead of having to like open every single one. So you open it just like this. This reminds me of the Fenty mini lips when they came out with the like magnetic open and close packaging. So this set has these three lip colors on it. This one, um, all of the names are really cute. This one is Confidence Booster, Happiness Ray, and Pure Proud. I think I'm going to use Pure Proud just because it's um, a purple so it goes with the look. I don't know if you can see that really nice but let me swatch the other ones that's in this set this one is called happiness ray i really like colors like this it's kind of like a burgundy color oh my god so pretty this one is called confidence booster it had and this one is just like a classic red i really like the choices of these colors oh so this one seems like it's a glossier lipstick and these two are mattes surprise surprise this one i know will not be my color it's too light but it's very pretty it's right there envy me captivating loyal oh this one oh my gosh that is moisturizing as hell so that one is captivating loyal again it's more of a moisturizing lipstick i'm gonna use these two together for an ombre look i'm gonna use envy me first so now i'm gonna use pure proud so what i will say about these lipsticks is that i don't think the lipsticks are in there like they're not like secure enough i don't think i don't think they're like secure enough in the lipstick or i'm just applying it too hard i don't know but um so when brands are starting out there's a lot of trial and error so i feel like um um hopefully that's something that they can work on but the color is really nice that is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm really proud of myself I am going uh, for two weeks. I'm going to Korea and Thailand, so I will be posting on my Instagram. So here it is. If you guys want to keep up with me, if not, then I'll see you guys in two weeks.